Hi, I'm Paula from Sal Digital, and today we are going to see all the functions Sal Digital software offers you to create a photo book. We are going to use the empty template function to build our photo book from scratch and have total control over it. Remember, you can always change the number of pages afterwards. Here it is, our album. The left menu is where we can navigate through our folders. On the top menu, we will find all of the tools. The right menu is where we will find different options to change the configuration of your product, to see the resources we are using, add some background, clip art and layouts. On the bottom menu, we can navigate through our photo book, add or remove pages and reorganize them. And this is the page we are going to work on. Let's start. This first page is the back cover, cover and spine. We can add some photos directly from our folder or look for them here and drag them in. As well as photos, we can also add an objects box to create our layout before adding the photos. A fill box to add a box with texture, gradient or color, and a text box, which you can completely format with the top menu or on the text editor. You can add backgrounds on the menu background. Choose a colour, gradient or texture. If you want to use a photo as a background, you just need to drag it into the blue frame. Or clicking with the right button of the mouse. In addition to all of these elements, you can add clip arts too. There are several topics to choose from. Remember, this first page is the inside front cover. One important thing to bear in mind is the bleed. You will see a warning when we place the margin of a photo over the crop line. We should avoid this position and always place the photo at a sufficient distance from or over it. When placing your photos, there are a wide variety of tools to help you with the distribution. There are also alignment tools that can be based on a double page or just a single page. When you have selected more than one photo, more options appear. You can use a layout too. Choose one of the multiple design line options and the images you want per page. Once you have placed one photo, you can easily swap it by dragging another photo over it. And if you already have two photos in your album, you can switch them by clicking with the right button of the mouse and choose switch or selecting both images and click over Swap Selected Images. As you have seen, there are more options when clicking with the right button of your mouse. Remember, you can activate the Auto Layout function at any moment to automatically distribute your images. Of course, we have plenty of control over the photo. We can make it bigger, crop it, rotate it, Flip it, zoom in or out, and reframe it. Here you can activate or deactivate the image enhancement. If the image has been edited beforehand, or if the image is a collage, disabling image enhancement is recommended. You can also find this option on the top menu. We can also modify opacity, Add some shadows, adjust colour, use masks and a frame of any colour. If you want to have a preview of your photo book, you just need to click over the preview button. At any time you can save your project and continue with it later. You can also export the project or save a PDF preview. When your photo book is ready, click over the basket to buy it. Now it's your turn to create your own photo book. Enjoy!